Okay. I wanted to talk to you about this fantastic little uh, solution I found to my sound problems that I had last week with one of my videos. Um, up until now, what I've been doing as normal is uh, connecting a, a cable to my headphone output on my... Uh, I've got a Focusrite Sapphire Pro. Um, and from there, going to the input of the, the inbuilt sound card on my um, computer which is then fed into my screen capture software, obviously. The problem I had with that was that I couldn't then um, adjust the volume of my voice against the volume of the music and whatever it was that I was working on to, to show you. It's like, for example, there was a, I had a bass and a kick going on and when, as soon as I started playing the bass and the kick, my voice was too quiet and I couldn't end about it. Um, anyway, I... Th Fair criticism came in, and I thought long and hard, and I thought oh, there must be a, a nice solution around this. I did a lot of uh, googling and looked into VB cables and voice meter and all this kind of stuff. And I've tried them in the past, and to be honest with you, I didn't like it. It messes up my system. I've got to remember to switch the default settings back to my sound card and etc. When I want to do proper recording and you know, I just found it a pain. So, I had a bit of a eureka moment. I remembered that um, good old Reaper, once again, has this thing called Reroute, which is basically uh, its own little ASIO driver, um, which enables you to route um, audio between um, applications. So, as I showed you in the little clip there before... <laughs> I just want to jump in here. Um, as I was editing the video, I realised that um, the order it's in now, actually it makes it a little bit easier to understand. So what I'm talking about that you've seen before is actually something that you're going to see in a couple of minutes that explains um, the starting up process and some of the options that I chose. I had to do it in silence and then overdubbed a little explanation. So all will become clear. Please hang in there with me. So I'm able now to open up the 32-bit version of Reaper and the 64-bit version as two separate applications and running at the same time. I've got the 64-bit application running using the rear out ASIO driver, as you saw, and the 32-bit is using my uh, Focusrite. So what I have done to... Uh, give me these inputs and outputs here is I route the bass and the kick in this, this example, I mean if you're do, showing a mix I would sub mix everything down to a, a pre a, a, a sub, a music sub whatever you want to call it and then I've routed that as in a hardware output to rear route 1 and 2 now over here on my receiving uh, 64 bit it simply comes in as a stereo input, rear route one and two. Okay. Then my microphone here, obviously, I've got to have the record and the um, monitor switched on on this for it to be heard. But again, that's going out rear route three as a mono output, and coming in here as an input mono rear route three. So therefore, I can record the music. I can play a bit now. And you can see it's recording the music, and my voice is totally independent. If I go closer to the mic, you can see me talking a bit louder while the voice is playing, while the music's playing, sorry. And I can later on export these out as stems. Um, now, these will already be matched. You saw me playing that little snare car clap that I've got in it earlier on. I'm still running a cable from my headphone output into the computer and recording audio onto my um, screen capture software here, as you can see, but for the pure reason of capturing that clap that I played so that I can um, sync everything up at the end. So I can sync up all the the, the audio from here with the video and then I just get rid of the audio that I, use, I recorded onto the screen capture software and use this. I mean I've then got separate tracks so I can add effects to my voice, I can you know do what I want, you get the picture. 
But that's my little show and tell for today. I just thought it was good enough that people should be made aware that you don't need to jump through hoops with virtual cables and all the rest of it that people I've seen people on YouTube doing. I mean, my God, some complicated systems going on. Um, simply use reroute and route the audio from one application into another. Okay, I'm just going to show you a bit of footage now that I shot earlier um, without audio, as for obvious reasons. Um, it was as I was setting up the, the system and I couldn't record audio as I was doing this, so I had to do it silently. The order's fairly important. First of all, I'm opening up the 32-bit version. Um, this is the version that you will see on the screen in your tutorial in the end. I've uh, shown you the preferences now that I unchecked to get the two applications working independently. So you go into the General tab and uncheck Check for multiple instances when launching and when launching with Project Media. Um, with those unchecked, I found that um, the both the 64 and 32 bit would start up and run as independent applications. When they were checked, uh, just nothing would happen. So now I think I'm starting up the 64 bit. And here it comes. Okay, I'm just showing you that that is the 64 bit version. And I'm now going to open up the audio device settings where we will choose as our ASIO driver the uh, reroute ASIO 64. And I'm going to open up all 16 channels to make them available because I can. And that's it set up. Uh, I think there are everything else I've uh, already covered previously in the video. Um, I mean, that's it. I just really thought this was quite important to show you the process I went through as I um, started everything up and whatnot. Um, that's it. Hope this is useful. Any questions, don't hesitate to ask. It's always happy to answer if I can. I uh, appreciate you watching. I appreciate your time. I hope this is useful. And thanks again. Bye. Science.